Okay, we get black in game one. We're going to play Attila Turzo here. Next pro chess event will be, I believe, on um, I believe it'll be on June 25th. So a little over three weeks from now. Okay, so he plays d4. I'm going to play g6, bishop g7. Keep it very simple. Um, so let's go here. D6, knight d7. Actually, do I have sounds on? Let me make sure I've got... No, I don't have sounds on. There we go. Okay, let's play d6. Okay, I'm going to play knight d7, maybe e5, maybe knight f6. Try to take take my own slice of the center. He's got two pawns, but I've got a pawn as well. It's got to be b5. Much harder to play b5. Thank you to Fishu for the 10 months as well. Thanks so much to Fishu. Let's kick the bishop. I think I'm just going to castle here. Maybe rook e8, maybe b6 at some moment. Let's go here. I don't like that move by Mr. Attila Turzo because now I take with the pawn. I think it's pretty stable here in the center. I guess I'll go here. Okay, I can play b6 if I want to. Um, I can also play a6. I'm going to play b6 here. One second, you guys. Apparently, my camera's not great, so give me one second. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go bishop b7. Okay, let's go queen e6 here. Maybe knight c5 next one. Maybe knight h5. Maybe rook d8. Um, I don't love my position here, actually, but I think it's playable. Although knight c5 does give him bishop c4, which is kind of a problem. Um, I think I'm going to go here maybe to attack the pawn on e4 three times. If knight d5, I trade and go queen d6 probably. Um, let's go knight c5 here. Let's hit the bishop, hit the pawn in a4. Should be doing very, very well in this position. I figured until Terzo had to be fake. No, he's um no, he's legit. Yeah, I played him in like a was it a sub Sunday or something? I don't remember what it was, but yeah, I do remember playing him before. I mean, jeez, oh, one second, you guys. Sorry, I have to do something like Go C6 here, play B5 next move. Go Knight E6 here. Oh, that was a bad. I should have played Knight E7. Now I gave him Knight C4, which was not very smart. I guess I go Rook E7. Let's go Rook E7 here. Or actually, no, let's go Rook B8 maybe. Let's go Rook B8. Play rook b7. Can play bishop f8 here or h5. Let's go bishop f8, maybe a5 next one, maybe rook a8. Actually, I'll go rook b8 and then maybe rook d8 or rook a8 next move. Okay, rook d7 doesn't really concern me. I have to be a little bit careful. I think I'm going to go rook a8 and try to go a5 at some moment. I don't love my position here, but it's still playable. Okay, I guess I go... Wait, c5, he's got knight d5. I don't want to do that. Let's see. Um, I'm going to move my king up. Maybe play rook e7 next move. It's not a great position for me in this first game. Um, I thought I could play like c5, but I think I'm just going to go here maybe and rook d8. Somehow I'm still worried that Icaro has no edge in this game. Um, it's pretty balanced so far, but he's also getting low on time. Um, I think now I have c5 maybe. Yeah, let's go c5 and start to get aggressive here. Because now he's going to have to take. There's no knight d5, so I take and he doesn't have any, any forks here. So I should be doing pretty well now.
Okay, he's getting low on time now. Um, okay, queen b2 is actually a very good move. Um, let's go here. I've got to start moving faster. I need to speed it up a little bit. I mean, maybe I have bishop g5 at some moment. Okay. Um, it's playing very, very well. Let's go here. Okay, I'm going to drop back. Okay, let's take. Let's go here. And let's trade. Let's trade. Let's go here. Let's bring the rooks. And he's got a great knight on d5, but he has weak pawns on b4, a5, and e4. That's a free juicer, I think. Kind of. He is playing exceptionally well in this game. Let's go here. Okay, he does this. It's a free pawn. Let's go here and takes. I mean, this is a draw with correct play. This is unbelievable. Although I have king g4... Hey, Aquila for the get the sub. Thank you to Vaganon for the three months. Thank you to Norder2 for the 12 months. Thank you to the Baritone or Gamer for the Prime. Unbelievable indeed. <laughs> I, I don't know what that was. That was uh that was not a good good end game. Um Thank you to Chris Crowd for the four months. Thank you so much, Chris Crowd. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, paid actor? No, I mean, I don't think, no. I mean, maybe ah, maybe he meant rook b3. But the thing that you have to be careful of in this endgame is that if you go rook b3, king g4, this is still a draw. But there's a classic endgame where um, I think it was Jerome Piquet versus, um, versus Gary Kimovich Kasparov, where Kasparov actually lost the four versus three. I can actually, I think I can pull it up in a second. Let me just, let me just see if I can pull it up here. Um. Let me see if I can find the game. Paquette Kasparov. Um, uh, Kasparov Chess. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, I think this is the game. Let me see if I can pull it. Pull it up. This is the game. Let me let me see. Yeah, so I'll pull this game up, you guys. I think you guys can see the board. So let me change the scene. Um, yeah. yeah. So this is a game between Jerome Piquet, Jerome Piquet and Gary Kasparov. You'll see this actually a very similar end game. Um, it turns into the exact same end game, four versus three, as you guys see. And um, Gary actually had the three pawns and he lost this game um, because he waited with the rook behind. And um, and he actually lost because he blundered this f5, e6 trick. And then after rook takes f7, uh, Piquet beat Kasparov. So you do have to be careful in these four versus three end games. Now, in this one, the rook's behind. Like, for example, say... Um, Say, let's say we get this position, we would have the position that I had in my game against Terzo, where the rook is covering on the sixth rank. But at any rate, he didn't do that. Um, again, as you see, it's basically the same position, except the pawns on h6 versus h7. So, pretty pretty similar stuff, but we get the win. Um, thank you to Winterfell for the two months. Thank you to Jay Simmons, too, for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, so, anyway, we keep going. That's one up, one down. Is Levy playing in title Tuesday? I don't know. He played very well, though. He played a good game. Yeah, it was a good game. Is Daniel playing? Um, I don't see Daniel listed, no. So, yeah. I guess he won a premium. Yeah, probably he thought that that I that I wouldn't play Rook takes B2 is my guess. Go for 11 out of 11? Yeah, that's that's going to be the plan. So you just went on third rank. No, this is actually a draw with correct play. But what you try to do is you, basically what I try to do is I try to get this position um, and hope that he blunders this pawn, pawn push. Um... That's that's the important thing. But basically, what White does is White can wait. So if you ever push, you you lose the pawn, uh, and you can never push because your king's in check. So this would be the way that you make the draw. So yeah. Anyway, one 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 up, one down, um, and we'll just wait for round two, which should be starting pretty soon. Only a few games left, so round two coming up. So many Russian GMs. Yeah, there are a lot of Russian GMs. Yeah, of course. Attila just mouse slipped. I mean, it's quite possible that he he just he just made made that mouse slip. I mean, very hard to judge um, in terms of in terms of that. But anyway, we keep going. Feels good to be Jeffrey today. I haven't actually played Jeffrey in quite a long time. 
Title Tuesday pairings are random. Random. Um, it's just based on whoever, based on you play someone on the same number of points in most cases. Didn't Jeffrey X win Title Tuesday back in 2019? Very possible. I think Jeffrey won like three weeks ago as well. Thank you to Truly Hornbus for the two months. Thank you so much to Truly Hornbus. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, yeah. You think Andregan is playing too? Maybe he's playing. I'm not sure. Um, hard, hard to tell. Can I play the orangutan? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I lost to Attila one time. I think it was, I think it was sub Sunday or something, like a year ago. I'm not playing with the delay. I never play with the delay. Um, I did Jeffrey wrong with that bond cloud win. I did Jeffrey. Yeah, I did him a little dirty with that bond cloud. Not gonna lie, but it didn't affect the tournament, so it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal. It's the Magnus Otang now. <laughs> yeah, Magnus kind of tried, but is Ferugia playing? No, Ferugia is not playing again. This is like, I don't know what's going on with Ferugia. He has not been playing anything lately. It seems like he hasn't played. Um, he has not played Title Two in like seven weeks or something. I think it's been a long time. Or actually, no, let's let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, you guys. For the memes. For the memes. For the memes, my friends. Let's go for it. For the memes. Okay, I'll play E3 like Magnus played. I think I'm going to go Knight F3, maybe. Magnus played C3 here, right? I think Magnus played C3, so I'm going to play C3 too. I, did I go D? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's interesting. And let's just take and go D4. Let's try to play this like a Magnus would. I can also go G3 maybe. Let's do actually G3 looks pretty good too to hit the pawn on, on D5, maybe. Let's go here, maybe D4 knight D2. Probably I should have played D4 first, though. Um but I still have D4 knight D2 and maybe H3 at the right moment. I think I go here. I have e4. I have h3. I have f3. A lot of lot of piece play here in the center of the board. I mean, I can castle. I can also play c4. Um, I think I'm just gonna castle here. Maybe it looks okay. Probably he's gonna go knight f6 and knight e4. Maybe he doesn't really have c5 here because his pawn drops in the center of the board. Thank you to Astro for the tier one. Thanks so much to Astro. So he's trying to get in here. I think rookie one is right because I need to guard so I can move the queen and then push these two pawns. Some combination. I'm not sure exactly which combo, but some combo here. Maybe even queen b3 at the right moment. Okay, he plays b5, which is actually a very, very good move, I think. Or maybe not, actually. Maybe, actually, you know what? No, I don't think it's a great move. So I go a4, he has to go a6, and I go queen c2. Actually, it's not not a great move because now I can rotate my pony all over the board too. I think B5 is slightly dubious here by my opponent. I think you had a Jugo ID for the two months. Thank you so much. Jugo ID. Thank you. Uh, Knight F4 looks good. I just take and play H3, G4, F5 and trap the juicer on the rim here. Okay, now I take and now I think I go E4 or do I trade first? I mean, E4 looks good. F3, E4 also looks good. Let's just go F3, E4, E5. Just play in the center of the board here. I gave him this, which I shouldn't have given him. Okay, takes, which I think is a mistake. Because now I have E5, maybe? Do I have E5 here, takes, or something? Let me think. Guess I'll just take. It seems fine. There should be four logical. I have e5 here. I can also trade. Um, this is actually quite tricky, though. I have rook a c1. I have e5, rook c8, queen d3. This should be rikes of queen d3. He has to play rook c8 here. And then I go queen f1, maybe. It's a little bit dicey. I don't know what's quite what's going on. I'll go here. Rook c3, I go queen f1. Moves the knight, I just take. Just got to worry about this capture as well. 
He goes knight d7, which I think is a mistake. Okay, now I'll take. We'll definitely take back. And now I should have some way to be much better. I don't know if it's rook d1. I can also play rook a d1, maybe. Actually, rook a d1 looks fine. Because rook c3, I drop back. There's no knight e5. I'm threatening to take the pawn on b5 now because my knight is guarded. Thank you to E. Quiller for the gift of sub to Matt Nevada. Thank you so much. Just take with the rook, I guess. Keep an eye on the pawn. I think I go here to hit the queen. Everything's guarded, and now I start to unwind it. And with the three pawns here, I should be much better. Maybe not winning, although I have this too. Let's just go here, force a trade. I also have E6 maybe. Okay, so he takes, I take. And now I go rook b5, I support. Technically speaking, this should be winning for me. I also have e6 here. But my instinct says takes is right. It's my instinct, at least. Oh, he's got knight c5. Or no, then I just take with the rook, I guess. Okay, he goes rook c2, which I think is a blunder because of rook d5. Although, let me make sure. d5, rook a8, rook d7 looks winning. Let's go here. If rook a8, I just take, check, block, double stack, and then I cover the bishop. Okay, so I think I go here. And now I go here, and now he has to go back. And now this should just be winning with four pawns. It looks winning, at least. Okay, so he goes there. So I guess I'll go... How will I do this? e6 is probably winning. Rook d7, rook a3. Just go here. He's going to have to go king f8. Now I think I'm going to go here. Why not? No knight f6 check. No knight c5 check. Okay, now I just take. Let's take. Let's go d5. I have rook a7. I've got four pawns here versus three. This should be winning. Let's go check. Okay, now I have d6 here. I can also just check him. I mean, d6 should be winning, I'm guessing. Because I, I have this check in e6 and rook e6. Okay, so if I check and go e6, it's not clear. Let's see, okay, if I check. Maybe I check and go around this way. I also have rook c4 here. Which looks fine, because now I can check, check again, and go e6, I think. Just go. Here. King d4, king e6 takes, okay, this is, this is winning. I think I'm going to go here and takes, and this should be winning, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, actually I have check. Yeah, I just have check, check, and e d7, and I win the game. If king comes up, I check, and I go e6, check, and now d7. Yeah, d7, and game over. Thank you to Chefs, chefs and Strife for the uh, two months. Don't shoot for the 12 months. Thank you so much to another Akul for the prime. Now we go here, rookie eight, two pawns supported, GG's. And we got the dub, two up, two down. Pretty good start. Um, bunch of games still going the second round. Another contribution to the Magnus of Tank. Well, hey, the, the orangutan, strong, strong. Four versus three again. Yes, this four versus three was a little bit different. Uh, yeah, first two games have not been easy. This game was definitely very sharp in the middle of the, middle of the game. Um, first game was, was actually, I wasn't even better at certain points. But it doesn't matter how you do it. A dub is a dub. That's all that really matters. And so far, two dubs. Hikar, you're the best man. I love you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Levy just lost from an amazing position. Um, he lost. Well, okay. I mean, I guess I can look at the game briefly. I mean, what's it? Gotham Chess? Yeah, Gotham Chess. Let's see. He lost to Oparin. Okay, let's see. Um, let's turn off the evaluation. Let's just see what happens. Okay, pretty standard. Okay, Levy plays Chagorin. I mean, this this objectively is a bad opening, but 
Uh, Levy does love his meme openings, and I think at 2300 level, they, they will work to some degree. Against Grandmasters, of course, uh, these sorts of openings generally aren't great, although what is A3? What is A3 by Oparin? Um, okay, Knight E5. Okay. Oh, and Oparin. But Oparin just sends up a piece here. What is Knight E4? I mean, maybe it's the best move, but it, but after Knight G2, still. Okay, now, now you end up in just a bad position at some point. Although, actually, wait, no, wait a second, though. Opara messes this up. Wait, takes f6. This still looks good for white, but after after he allows e4, it's kind of problematic. Queen a5. King e5, okay. And, of course, checkmate. Complicated game. I think Opara was much better, but it did get very, very messy in the middle there for, for a little bit. Thank you to Dave Pressing Buttons for the two months. Thank you so much, Dave Pressing Buttons. Okay, round three. Let's keep going. We got Black in this game. We're playing Fear. Very, very strong, uh, very strong player. Grandmaster from uh, from um, from Azerbaijan. Or Georgia, sorry. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. Let, let's stick to it. It's not great, but let's stick to it. Do I think Levy could become a jam at some point? Yeah, definitely he could, but it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of work. It's not as simple just going back and, and playing playing chess. Like, you don't go from 2350 feet A to 2500. Like, it's going to take serious work from Levy. Oh, sorry, Fear is from, sorry, Fear is from Brazil, but he lives in Georgia. Sorry, I'm wrong. He he lives in Georgia, but he's from, he's, uh, he's from Brazil. My, my bad, sorry. I don't feel like knight b6 is right. Okay, let's go here and here. We're going to have this line. I've played this many, many times. It's going to go knight g5. I'm going to go knight here. This is kind of like a silly knight orf a little bit. Uh, and probably queen e7 next move is my idea. Let's go here. I may castle queen side. I'm not sure yet. I have to see. Is he going g4? He is going g4. Interesting. Okay, I guess I castle. I do have f6. I don't love it, though. I think I'm just going to castle here. I mean, the thing is, I'm always lurking with knight c4. There's always a big lurk threat. I also have d5. Now, do I take with the rook or not is also a big question. Um, my instinct says that I should just to provoke f4. I think provoking f4 is in my best interest here because there's always a jump to c4. So if he goes h5, we trade. There's going to be a knight c4 problem for white. And also now e4 is a little bit weak because he pushed the pawn off of f3. So I think it's in my best interest to play like this because also it's very early and you want decisive games. Hikaru said Georgia wants Brazil. Well, he lives in he lives in Georgia. That, that's why that's why I got confused. Also, if a4 now I go b4, knight a2, and then a5 and f6, and I lever the knight uh, and win this pawn. So it's 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 unclear, but I think this f4 move is not 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 ideal. Now I can play king b8. I also have f6. I also have knight f6, but I think I should just consolidate with king b8. I mean, I guess he has h5, but then I have f6. Okay, queen f2. Okay, now the question is, do I go c5 here or not? This is a big question. My instinct says I do, but it's also kind of loosening too. It's eh, it's a little bit tricky here. Let me think for a second. I have two twenty. I'm up on the clock. Knight f six, bishop f three. E five move. D five's bad. I'm gonna go. Uh, I don't really want to do it, but I think I'm gonna go for it with c five. It's a little bit sharp. Or f6 first, maybe? f6, f5? I mean, it's a complicated position. I also don't know why I'm thinking so long here. So hard to play this move. Uh, I think I'm going to go f6, f5 first. Let's do this. Let's play f5. He's going to go knight g5 back. Then probably I go knight f6. Goes e5, which I'm actually kind of happy to see, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not happy to see e5, actually. But if I take, takes with, I'm also moving way too slowly again. Why am I moving so slowly? Okay, I, I just have to move way too slow here. Let's go here. I've misplayed this. I've definitely misplayed this position. I'm still okay, but I've misplayed it. 
can obviously trade. Yeah, th I don't know what I've done to this. Why did I do that exactly? Yeah, I really misplayed this. Um, this is not good. It's actually kind of very problematic here. I'm going to have to come up with something soon. Let's take. Don't actually know what I'm doing. I, I, I lost the thread of this game with this F5. This was very, very bad. And I never should have taken on G5 either. Very, very bad by me. Oh, he takes with the F-pawn, which actually I'm kind of happy to see. That gives me more hope here to create complications. Um, much more hope. Okay, let's just go here. Okay, I can play knight F8. I think I'm going to go rook F8, though, maybe. Not rook G7. Wait, I have to move, though. Why, why am I so slow this game? Let's just go here and here. I don't know why I'm so slow. Maybe I have bishop e4 at some point, like right now, to try and confuse matters here. Yeah, let's just go here. I'm going to try to confuse matters here with f4 and so forth. Trying to confuse the, the issue. Okay, let's go here, because now the pawn's under attack. I'm starting to actually confuse the issue a little bit. I'm still probably much worse if he plays this correctly, but it's getting a little bit less clear-cut now. Because there's an knight d5. I'm going to take and go here, of course. Not trade. Because I have knight d5, queen c6. Trying to confuse the issue a little bit. If he can get this pawn rolling, I lose the game. But he also can't really get the pawn rolling. I'll go here. Target the pawn on, on c2. Knight d5. Okay, he goes bishop d3. Now I can check and take h4 if I want. I don't really want to. I don't want to play knight d5. I don't really want to play rook h8 either, but it's actually not a bad move. Knight d5, bishop g5, maybe knight c4, maybe knight a4. Wait, what, why am I thinking? Wait, why am I thinking so long here? Let's go here. I could have also just traded there. What am I doing? Okay, goes queen g5. Let's go here. It's also a mistake by me. Just got to move, though. He can't take such so check. Okay, he goes bishop e2. This is a mistake for sure. Let's go here. Okay, I don't even care. He can trade. I think I'm going to win this game probably. Okay, let's go here. takes and now now I should win okay now I should win probably pretty easily let's go oh why did I do that ah that was bad Okay, we're going to win the game now, but man, this is not, none of my games so far have been easy at all. Oh, let's just go here and trade into the winning end game. What am I doing, actually? There we go. We got the win. Not an easy game. Three very tough games to start, but we got the win. Very, very poor game, but I get the win. 
Maybe I'm still used to rapid control. Yeah, that's also true because I felt like I was tr I was trying to enjoy that middle position against him a little bit too much when I played F6 and F5. Like I spent like 25, 30 seconds there instead of just going pure blitz mode. So it's possibly true. Um, but yeah, anyway, we get the win. We, we moved to um, three out of three. What mouse do I use? We're using this mouse, you guys. It should zoom in. Come on, zoom in. Zoom in, come on. There you guys go. Okay, so we're using the shroud mouse. So, um, so I mean, KDA obviously in chess is a little bit different, but yeah, we're using the we're using the shroud mouse because when in doubt, I mean, you want to be like shroud. Thank you to Swinny G for the thirteen months. Thank you so much to Swinny G. I appreciate it. So yeah, we're on three out of three. Um, pretty good. Big fish. Everybody's everybody's in it. Everybody's in it right now here for Title Tuesday. Shroud from CSGO, Shroud from CSGO, Valorant, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Did Shroud use the Hikaru mouse for CSGO? Now that's a good one. That's a good one. What's in the fridge? Oh, it's actually a safe, you guys. It's a safe. It, it contains all my gold bars. Because gold bars are actually real, they're physical. It's not a random fake thing floating around off of electricity, which has a supposed value. Gold is for real. It's actual physical. I can touch it. I can't touch that silly little thing um, that you solve with math equations and waste a lot of uh, electricity on. Okay, let's go B for it. Let's let's do it again. Okay, I'm gonna. This is the last game that I can get away with it, though. I think. Oh, did I blunder something? I think I did. Uh, I kind of. This is not right. I guess I'll play C4, though. Why not? Um, and maybe E3. It's kind of a weird position, though. How, how bad is this, I wonder? I mean, it's kind of dubious, but I actually... The funny thing is I get access to an open file here. So even though it's not great, I don't think he can move the bishop. And if he has to play E6, his bishop's kind of locked in here. So it's not so bad. It's kind of weird. It's not actually a terrible position for me. Maybe I go rook b1. I mean, I guess the problem is my knight on c3. This is actually a problem. So probably... I think I'm just going to do this in rook b1. Maybe I'll take and play rook b5. Maybe I'll just castle. He doesn't have bishop f5, so I'll castle. Please. Oh, he has knight e4, which I... Ah, uh, I missed that. Oh, this could be really bad. I just forgot that that was even a move. I'm going to try to salvage this and make a draw here. I don't think I'm actually that much worse still, which is kind of weird. I'm worse, but I think this maybe is drawable. Takes. I mean, of course I take this when I have to. Okay, I guess I can take with the queen. It's even material somehow, even though I don't deserve even material here. And I'm only maybe slightly worse. I wonder if I can somehow win this. Probably not really, but I'm, I'm only very slightly worse in this position. Maybe rook c1. Goes queen a5. He just so he's trying to make the draw here. I mean, maybe I have bishop c4. I'm gonna try to win this somehow. Don't ask me how I intend to win you guys, but I'm gonna try to win this for you guys. Because the funny thing is, this piece is, I don't know if I play h4 or not. I think I mean h3 is very conservative and safe. We don't want to be conservative and safe, or do we? I don't want to. Maybe okay. I'm gonna go h3 and rook b5 probably. Let's go here, try to trade some rooks. Still a draw with correct play, of course, but I'm trying to create something a little bit complicated. I have a4, maybe. Can move the knight, probably. I'm going to move my knight, try to rotate it somewhere. If I can get the knight to c5, maybe I'm better, even. 
Now, do I go to e2 or not is also a question. Oh, wait, I've got rook d1. Oh, this is, feels like I should have something here. I think I'm just going to go to f1. Maybe a5. I have knight c2, knight d4 maybe. Still tricky. Okay. Let's go here. Yeah, bishop b5, it gets kind of flattens the game. No real way to win this, probably. Hmm. This is just going to be a draw. But I'll, I'll, I'll play on, just, just for you guys. E4. Wait, E4, rookie 5? Seeing if there's some way that I can keep the game alive. But it doesn't really look like it. Nah, it's just this is just a draw. So I'm just gonna just go here and make the draw. I think it's a draw at least. Unless he has bishop a6 or something, but he doesn't. Yeah. Just a draw. Maybe I had something there. Instead of rook b5. Maybe I had some other way to try and win that. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. Well, in worst case, it's a draw, obviously. So I have knight d4. Not going to trade knights, and it's an easy draw. Okay, rook c7 is incredibly solid. Let's go here. Can play f4, maybe? I think I'm going to play f4. Why not? King f3. Here. He's got rook b2, king d3, knight e4. I mean, this is kind of just a draw. I mean, I really want to play on somehow, so let's go here. He doesn't really want to let me. Um, trying to come with somewhere where I can keep this game alive where I'm not just losing. Guess I'll try here. Okay, I'm going to go e4. I know it's not right, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, he's also got this, which I missed. Okay, yeah, this is just going to be a draw now. Time to just buckle down and make the make the draw. If he actually draws, the opening will be regretted. Not really. I mean, I'm I'm just having fun, you guys. Thank you to Jimmy GGs for the nine months. Um, I think we're go here. I mean, the opening is not a great opening. I mean, make no mistake about it. I'm not pretending it's a great opening. He's getting a little bit low on time here, though. Um, I mean, knight c two almost works. Let's just go here. Knight f3 was better. Oh, then there was knight e3. Wait, let's go here. I'm going to go for this. Probably very wrong. Knight t2, h4 maybe. Let's go here. I'm trying to get some trick with rook c7. I don't know if it works, but I'm trying. Go here. It's actually a little bit tricky because e6 is coming as well. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Yeah, it's just a draw. Wait, knight b3? Wait, what did I just do? Wait, I have to go here and draw still. Yeah, it's still a draw. Yeah, this is just a draw.
I think King F6 is King F6 is probably a draw, but I'll just go here to be safe. Yeah, just here. It's three one no flag. Yeah, there's there's just no flag. It's just a draw. I mean, no, nothing can be done. Yeah. No, I mean, probably I had something. Let me let me see if I had something somewhere. I mean, more or less, it was a very uh, it was a very flat game. But I wonder if I had something at one spot. There was one moment when I thought I might have something. Not not here, obviously, but um, like somewhere around here. No, no, wait a second. No, no, it was earlier. Sorry, right here. Before rook b5, maybe I had something. No, it's just equal, I guess. E4, uh, E4 is probably a better try, but it's still nothing much. When I say flat, I mean that it's just a very dry drawish game. Um, Ali Reza is in the tournament. Where is he? I don't see him. I, I don't see him. But yeah, it could be a very costly draw. Not really. Actually, drawing early in many ways is good. Because when you draw early, you should theoretically get easier pairings. A loss early is obviously the end of the world, but... Um, but a draw is usually not the end of the world, I would say, early on. Because then sometimes you get the soft pairings. Ali Reza is 0 out of 4. Yeah, he's not in it. Thank you to Avatar Tyler for the 5. Herza for the 6 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for the um, thank you for that, Herza. Appreciate it. All right, you guys. So I think we're on our first break. There's a break after round 4. Um, why would you need an easier opponent? You don't, but sometimes sometimes you just get softer softer pairings round after round. So a draw is not the end of the world. But as we see, the the orangutan, it's a reasonable opening, but it's not probably it's not good enough to um it's not good enough to to win uh, consistently against other grandmasters. So all right, you guys, I'm gonna take a short break. We'll be right back in a few minutes, and I think we will keep going with the event and um and also uh and also there's a six minute break for the next round. So I'll be right back. I think there is, but I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we are back. What what did we miss? Sorry, sorry, I was just out talking to Myth. Um. We didn't, the next game didn't start, so um, so I guess we'll start in a couple of minutes still. Anyway. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what's the pog about? What's, what's the pog for? Weird flex, but okay. What's the weird flex about? I mean, I'm at TSM. Like, why, I mean, why, why would I, why would I not see other TSM members? Like, what's the big deal? What, what's the, what's the big deal? Did I get that stockfish booted up? No, um, I didn't. My hair, my hair. Okay, sorry. Pog O seeing other people. Yeah, Pog O. Yeah, at actually seeing other people. B three next game. Doubtful, doubtful. But we'll we'll see. Um, we'll see what I'm gonna do. But anyway. Uh, Italian? No, no Italian openings. Thank you to or or charts for the gifted sub as well. Yeah, but um, anyway, we're on three and a half out of four. The t the um the Stella Artois world record attempt will be a little bit later, you guys. How do I feel about Levy hitting one million? That's awesome. I, I wasn't sure if he would hit it today or he'll hit it tomorrow, but um, amazing stuff. Um, I, as I think I said before, there there are only three channels that are over a million, and it's actually, I mean. It's going to be a while, I think, till we see another channel hit 1 million. I mean, maybe, I mean, okay, Same probably at some point, some point I'm sure will, although I don't, Same is in a kind of a different category, but in general, um, there just aren't many chess channels that are going to be over 1 million. So it's, it's pretty incredible. Let's go orangutan opening. Well, if I get a low enough rated player, I might actually play it again. If I get someone who's like sub 27 in round five, I might try it one more time just for the memes, but realistically, I'm I, realistically, I'm probably going to win my next game and play someone who's like 2,800. And again, I can't, I can't really do that. When is the world bullet run attempt? That will be at 5 PM Eastern, 2 PM Pacific. So in about three hours from now, a little over three hours. Samei's channel is not a chess channel though. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. It's like Samei, he does chess, but he's also a comedian. So it's like, um, what are the three channels? Um, myself, uh, Gotham Chess, and Antonio Radish Agadmator. Excuse me on um on on YouTube. Th those are the only other channels. Um, I mean, of course, like Samay will get there. Samay will get there, but I don't really put him in the same kind of uh, same kind of category. How about Botez? I think Botez of like two fifty or three hundred. 
Chess Space India has about 600k. If they if they keep grinding for a few years, they'll definitely get there. But it's gonna be um, but but it's it's not it's it's gonna take time. You basically what you do is you look at the graph of the followers or sorry the subscribers on YouTube and you see you kind of you see the uh, you see the trend. Uh, thank you to to Wiffle Wiffle Waffle for the prime. Thank you to Wiffle Waffle. Appreciate. It. Thank you. Thank you to Big Cat Belly for the eleven months. Thank you so much, Big Cat Belly. India T series, of course, is, isn't that like one of the most subbed uh, most sub channels? Period. Isn't the T series like fifty million or something ungodly? Yeah. So, all right. I don't know when the next game should be starting. Pretty soon, um, but we'll see. Oh no, it's not fifty million. It's hundred seventy-six million. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I stand corrected. Jeez, hundred seventy-six million. Wow. Not bad. Not bad, <laughs> man. Okay, fine. Twenty-six forty-nine. He's in the zone where I can do it. Let's go for it one more time. Last time. Last time we're gonna do it. I, I'm not gonna get another chance. Let's let's play it one more time. Okay, we go here, target the juicer, A3, of course. Okay, I'm going to go knight 3 maybe E3, C4 at some point. Okay, he goes B6, which kind of is actually a little surprising. I think I'm going to get a great setup here. Yeah, I'm gonna get a great setup here. I think with Bishop D3 and Knight D2, and I I actually get like the full. Um, do I want to put the Knight on C3 or D2? I think I put the Knight on C3. Knight E4. I mean, this looks really really pleasant after Queen B3. Cause it's a soft pawn here. I've Rook C1. This looks slightly dubious the way my opponents played it. I mean, I can play Rook C1 now. I think there's still no Knight F2 because I just take. I also have knight b5 threatening this. So he might have to go a6, and he does. Okay, I go bishop d3, of course. Still can't play knight d7 because I take the pawn. He can't really trade either because I take and drop back. I mean, this is actually looking very, very good for me. He actually justified my opening, and he gave me the perfect perfect setup here. This looks like a b feeder. Not really. Okay, knight g5. Now, that's a weird move. I don't know what that does. I'm going to go knight d2 and maybe h4. Knight g5 is a very strange move. Because now I'm I'm actually threatening to eat the juicer because the knight cuts the check to the king. Knight g5 is such a weird move by my opponent. Who is this I am? Do you know him? No, I don't know. I don't know him. But I mean, this looks very dubious. Okay, let's go uh Queen C2, target the juicer on h7, maybe h4, f4 ideas. So H6, I can castle. Do I want to castle or play like H4, G4? It doesn't look right. Let's just castle. Probably I'm going to play F4 here. Yeah, I'm going to go F4 and start attacking now with like Knight F3. Well, he's got C5 at some point. Maybe, actually, you know what? I should go back here to stop this push because then this is under attack. Let's go here. Knight F3, Knight E5 is my idea. I also have E4, but I think Knight F3, Knight E5. I'm going to stick with my original plan. It's kind of like a stone wall a little bit, but it's a better version. He plays a5. I don't really, I'm not worried. I just go knight e5 and take. And now e4 is a big threat as well because there's a threat towards the king. Big threat here. e4 is a threat as well. Okay, queen c7, logical move. I can start to reroute the knight maybe. I think rook c1 makes a lot of sense, but then queen e7, knight, yeah, rook c1 looks good actually because now I go. Here, and I hit all the pawns. Oh, wait. that Oh, that was very bad by me. I thought I could just take the pawn. Oh, yikes. This actually could be really bad. Um, Wait. I have to go... Let's go here. Takes. I take and take.
Plays b5. I'm very happy to see that move because now, now I should be just better after knight c5. Now, do I take with the b pawn or the d pawn? My instinct says I should take with the d pawn to open up lines. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this way to open up the diagonal here. And now let's see. Do I put this rook here? I think I do. I want to go e4. I've got to open up. Maybe bishop b1 even. Knight g6. Let's go here. Queen f7, I just take. Position's starting to get a little bit suspicious for black here. I have queen d3, but I think I should just trade and go queen d3 or queen c2. Let's go here. Bishop g6, big threat now. Okay, let's go here. I think e4 must be winning somehow now for me. Or rook e4. Let's just go for it. A wimba wait, a wimba wait. Problem for black also, bad bishops. Not not very good. This bishop on b7 especially blocked in by the pawn wall. Both my bishops have great scope. Should be winning for me. Plays rook d8. Now I can obviously trade. I think e5 looks crushing, but he wants d4 then. So rook d1 or do I just trade? No, I definitely don't trade. E5 looks right. E5, D4, it's... D4, maybe bishop H5. Okay, whatever. Let's just play E5. All right, goes D4. That's the best move by far. It's very tricky somehow. Wait, rookie 4 is F5. I have to be very careful here. I think I'm going to drop my queen back. I think it's wrong, but I... There's queen c4. That's got to be wrong. Let's take. Yeah, I have queen f5 maybe. Wait, that's just free material. Yeah, now I just lose the rookie 7 next move. Okay, good win. Good win. Yeah, the orangutan never fails. I still haven't lost yet. So I'm on two and a half out of three with the orangutan. Uh, but I think that's the last game that I can realistically play it and hope to get away with it. Or not get away with it, but, but play for a win with it. Have I heard something from Ali Reza? No. I mean, I think that really as far as I, as, as I see it, I think Ali Reza is very simply... Um, Ali Reza is simply, he's probably training with one of the players for the World Championship match. And I, I'm guessing additionally, he's just trying to focus on over the board chess. Maybe Cavatory for the Prime. So it's some combination of those two. B3 now instead of B4, possibly. Can we get one of these hoodies, the Stella X Artois hoodies? Um, I don't know if they're going to have that as merch, but maybe. Crazy how you can do this genius stuff while sipping coffee and singing. I'm not singing. If I was singing, nobody would watch my stream. So anyway, um, yeah. I also want a hoodie like Hikaru. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know uh, if they're gonna if Stella's gonna sell this, but yeah. That I am is pretty good. No, he's not bad, not bad. But he kind of justified my whole opening, which he shouldn't have done. If he's training with one of the WC players, why wouldn't he play in the FTX Crypto Cup like Nepo and Magneto did? He did play in the FTX Crypto Cup. He played the tournament. He did not qualify. Um, thank you to I Psychonaut for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Um, so he did. He did. Uh, he did. He did. But yeah. But anyway, um, okay, four and a half out of five, pretty pretty solid so far. The game I drew, I really didn't have many winning chances, just very dry from the beginning. So it's all it's all pretty pretty normal so far. Man, Levy likes to bully his viewers. It's crazy, lol. I I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know what you're referring to. But anyway, um, yeah. Thank you to Chefus Op for the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Chefus Op. Appreciate it. He really does. I mean, again, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are referring to, but 
but it's all good. What do I think about Blue Santo? Very, um, very strong Turkish Grandmaster. Yeah, if you don't like, don't watch. That's also true, yeah. How's the crypto stuff going? I haven't done anything with crypto in a while. Do I know GM Esan? Who's Esan? Esan, who's Esan? Gaimagami or who? I own AMC. I don't. I don't. I don't own AMC now, but I did. I mean, the whole thing is is insane. Um, it's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna tank fifty percent. It's just a question of when. Um, do I think Magnus is holding crypto one? Um, well, the question is, did Magnus get all of the crypto, or is that crypto divided somewhere? Because I thought you had to. Um, I thought you had to have some. Uh, you had to have a wallet to to get it. And it's hard for me to believe that like. Um, that like Wesley So has a has a has a crypto wallet. I, I find that very hard to believe, but maybe. Oh, it's divided. Okay, but but I got an email yesterday which said um, I got an email which said that they're converting it back to USD, which means that maybe you don't have to have a wallet. Um, so maybe I'm not sure, but anyway, um, yeah. Wesley So is secretly Satoshi. Yeah, <laughs> good one. What do you think about Jan Christoph Dudov? Very, very talented player. Very, very talented. So, yeah. Why would you think Wesley doesn't have a wallet? I'm talking about a crypto wallet. I'm not talking like traditional. I'm talking crypto wallet. Um, it's a little bit different. Okay, four and a half out of five. Not a great pairing here. Um, which opening do I want to play here? I know this guy is very, very aggressive, but I'm going to play Sicilian anyway. Uh, he wants to play. Uh, he wants to play this one, which is a draw. I mean, I can play e five d five, but this there there's a forced draw line in here. Um, what do I want to play? Which one do I want to play? I can't play g six. E five d five is a draw, but the problem is I already drew a game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, and I think I'm gonna play. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna go a5 because I can't really draw this game. I have to go for it already. Although, is that right? Wait, I don't think that's right actually. Because he doesn't get his bind Roxy bind with c4 here, so now it's just a game of chess. Still very it's still very much a game, but he doesn't get the bind like he's supposed to. I thought he was supposed to play c4 or a4, because now it's just a traditional kind of Sicilian. I'll just go here and castle. I mean, he has g4, g5, but I still can go to the edge. And the bishop kind of is misplaced here. It's a little bit of a weird position. I guess a castle, of course. Maybe knight b6, knight c4 next move. Okay, now he does play knight d5. So I have multiple captures. I can take with the bishop and play a4. Knight c1. I'm going to do this one on this. I think I can play knight c5, knight d7. I also have knight b6 here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go here to hit the pawn and play knight fd7. Maybe even queen c... Wait, queen c7 even looks good. Wait a second. Queen c7. Knight d3, knight c4. Takes, takes, takes. Let's go here. Because he can't play b3 because I take, take, and he loses the rook. And if he takes, I take... When it goes here, I go rook c8, maybe? Oh, but he's got knight d3. Oh, I just made a mistake. Yeah, he's got knight d3 here, which I forgot all about. Maybe I shouldn't have said that either, but whatever. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, he's got knight d3, and now I'm probably slightly worse. Just drop back. I shouldn't have said anything, probably. But anyway, let's see. I do have rook a5. I can also go knight d7, maybe. It's not so bad, at least. Okay, I'm going to go here. I want to go bishop g5, maybe f5 as well. 
Plays B4. I mean, I assume I should take and go here probably. Yeah, I should just go here. Force force uh force these bishops off the board. It's a safe prey move. His bishop is maybe good, but also maybe bad on b5. Okay, now I think I'm okay. I can play f5, but I think knight f6 is much safer here. No c5, bishop on b5 is a little bit misplaced because it should be like on f1 or e2. And if he pushes, he takes. So the bishop is kind of sitting on a bad square. That's my assumption is that I'm probably... I should be completely fine here. I don't know if I'm actually better, but I should not be worse at any rate. Okay, wait, can't I just take the juicer and go queen b6? Don't I just have check takes? I think he just blundered. And now I'm probably gonna win the game. He just he just blundered this uh classic uh double double attack. Thank you, Silver Surfer, for the eleven months. Thank you so much, Silver Surfer. Appreciate it. Okay, King H1, Knight C7 looks completely reasonable here. Yeah, let's just take the bishop. Okay, it goes back. Can play like knight e6, maybe. B6 is all obviously a move. I don't like it, so let's just go here. Go C5, kind of expected. Thought I should have some trick here. Wait. There should be a trick with B5 somehow. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I just take. I have queen d4. He has to trade, and now I think I just go g6. Because now the bishop's... Oh, but he's got the, the knight d5, maybe? It's a little bit tricky, because I also have rook a5 and b5 here. Let me make sure that rook a5 works. So here takes b5. Rook f4, king g7 is good. Rook d6, king g7 is good. Takes here. He's got no pins. I think I'm winning here. His bishop is just dead on the rim. He can't push because I take. And I'm just going to trap it in the corner here. Yeah, I think I'm winning. Goes rook c1. I thought I had d3 here maybe. D5, rook c5. I mean, this is so close to winning. Now let's just go here. Here's check, I guess. I think I go like here in rookie two. And I'm still threatening b5 because now there's no way to pin it. Because I move the rook out. Wait, I just go d2 here and now b5 and trap the juicer. Bishop stuck. Takes in here. Let's go here, here, collect the juicer. Let's go here, knight c5, of course. He resigns, and we get the win. Nice win. Thank you to Cole. Thank you to Cole MTG for the three. Thank you, Jeff, for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, so we win again. So we moved to five and a half out of six. Uh, tough game, but we get the win. He made one one mistake, and uh, we just keep going. Who will be the next Anand from India? Uh, I'm not actually sure. My guess would be. Um, I, I said it before, I think one of the top three will be, it's going to be either Pragnananta, Nihal Sarin, or, um, or Gukesh. I think one of those three will make it into top 10. It, Raunak maybe also is one of those that I put in the category, but my guess is one of them will become top 10. I don't know which one it's going to be, but I think one of them will. But I think only one of them will. One mistake equals game-ending blunder. Yeah, I mean, that's why chess is such a brutal game at the higher levels, because one mistake and um, one mistake and you basically just, that's it. You lose the game. And the, the mental, the mental, I mean, avoiding total mental breakdown from it is very difficult. Um, so it's, yeah, chess is very hard. Okay, so we're on five and a half out of six. Um, so we have, 
let's see, what do we have? <laughs> yeah, I, I, total. Well, I think it's what's it called? It's total mental mental lockdown. Is that what it's called? T- uh, total mental letdown. I, I don't know what the game is called, but anyway. Um, okay, what's going on? Black is uh this this is losing. No, this is actually still a draw. I think. No, now King G four F five check. Rookie five. I think this is winning for black after... Yeah, king g2, king g3, and it's winning. King g3. And takes, yeah. Yeah, total, 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 total letdown, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Okay. Um. All right. So, okay. Abdus wins this game. Let's see what else we have. What, what, what do we have? Okay, so we've got a bunch of people on six. I'm on five and a half, which is not terrible. When was the last time you, you, you felt like a scholar's mate? Not sure. Um... Uh, the deleted the video of me really reacting to total total lockdown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you to CCM for the six months. Thank you to Umami Beat for the fourteen. Thank you so much to Umami Beat. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Thoughts on Magnus Carlson? I think he actually needs a bit of a break. If I if I if I'm being honest, because he's got the World Championship match, which is, which is coming up. And it seems like I think the fact that he's playing every event, and I, I feel like he's tiring himself out in a way, and maybe maybe he can recover from it. But I do think it's a little bit dangerous um, if he just if he just keeps doing this and he's not refreshed and ready for the uh, World Championship. Because we're looking at a meltwater event end of June, one in July. There's going to be a Grand Finals in September, and there are also going to be like some uh, Grand Chess Tour events in the middle. So. I, I think for Magnus, he probably should he probably should um, take a short break or take a break from something like for a schedule because I, I think it's probably a little bit too uh, it's probably a little bit too much and I think it's going to give Jan much better chances. Oh, he's playing Norway Chess in September. That's true too. Yes, yeah, I forgot about that. So it's like if he plays these events, the final and Norway Chess, that's already the end of September. Um, that's already the end of September. So I think it's a little bit. It's actually kind of kind of dangerous. I think. Jan is also playing that right, but I, I'm betting that Jan is not going to play every every one of these online events. Okay, we're playing Srinath. Let's go for it. We're playing Srinath. Um, why not? This is Srinath, right? Yeah, this is Srinath. Um, I think, isn't it? It's like, this is a guy who has who um, who has I think who came down with COVID. So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna stick to the theme of playing the uh, playing the um, playing this opening. Okay, I'm gonna play e3 here. Just play here. Okay, he plays knight c6. Now, the question is, which way do I bring the bishop back? I think I bring the bishop back this way, because I can play, like, c3, maybe. Yeah, because maybe I just go c3 and d4 and bishop d3. Yeah, I think I'll play c3 here. I don't know if c3 is right, actually, but it looks reasonable. Now, I can trade. He's actually trying to create something very dry. So let's go here and try to just trade. I think I'll go here. I'm definitely taking the knight, by the way. 100%. I'm going to take now. And let's go here, force a trade. Let's go here. I can obviously take. I can also just castle, though. I like my position. I think it's pretty reasonable here. Like, rook b1, rook b5. At some moment, I probably can play e4, too. Kind of like my position. It's not It's not ideal, but it's not bad, either. He plays a6. He wants b5, I guess. can play rook fd1. Hmm. can also go e4. Let's think about how I want to play this. Okay, what do I want to do? Queen f5, queen f4 is a move. I think I'm just going to go here. Yeah, he, goes rook f- he goes b5. Can obviously take at some moment. I mean, I feel like at some moment I do want to take. But I think for now I'm just going to rotate my knight to a better square on e2. Maybe not right, though. Probably not right. Can play G4. I think I'll just go here, though. I can even maybe rotate the knight to F4. He takes. Very interesting decision. I actually don't like that move so much by him. Because now I can take with a knight. Don't really want to take with a knight. But it's not a bad move. Um, also, but it makes his life a lot easier if I do that. Huh. It still feels like the right move to take with the knight. 
CD4, Knight C4 does not look right. Let's just take with the Knight. Because I have Knight H5 coming here. A4 maybe breaks the structure a little bit. Okay, I can play knight e2, knight f4. Knight h5 is also a very logical move that I want to play here. Knight g5. I mean, I feel like I should be better here somehow. I just don't quite know how. Maybe not, but anyway. Okay, let's just go here. Wait, why did I do that? I guess I'll go... Okay, it goes g6. I mean... I guess I'll, now, I'll, now I'll definitely rotate my knight to f4. Okay. Um, he goes knight b6. I guess he wants knight a4. So I'm going to go here and rook d1. Definitely going to play knight f4 at some moment. Maybe I rotate the knight back, actually. Let's go here, hit the bishop. I'm down on the clock, so I need to move a little bit quicker. Bishop d6. Okay, I guess I'll go... Uh, I have knight d2 and e4 maybe. No, let's just play h4. Probably I'm going to play h5 at some moment if I can. Although I missed queen f6, which is a good move. It's a very good move. Yuck. Let's go here, I guess. Let's go here, I guess. I really want to put pressure on the pawn. This isn't a threat. I have rook d4. Whoa, thank you to Blitzer for the five gifted. Thank you so much to Blitzer. Appreciate it. Thank you. What I'm trying to do is figure out where can my knight go, though? Where can my knight go that makes sense in this position? I'm going to go here. Maybe h5. I think I should play this rookie four. Okay, that's a logical move. I can obviously trade. Just trade and go like rook d4, maybe. Let's go here. I shouldn't lose the game, but again, it's going to be hard to win. I'm up on the clock now, though, which should benefit, which is important. It was knight a4, so now I can take the rook. I can also take the pawn. I don't really want to take either. Let's see. Um, okay, wait. Queen e1, maybe? Let's go here. Let's go here. Now I hit the pawn, I think. Wait, now I have rook d5 again. Don't really want to do that. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go here again. I don't see any good moves for black. I mean, you can play maybe queen c6, but I just take. I also have h5 here. Let's go. Let's go here, maybe. Trying to get really sneaky, maybe. Is 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 that a threefold? Wait, is knight c5 a threefold? Yeah, it's a threefold. Okay, so I can't do that. Okay. Um. Let's go here. He's got knight c5 again. Oh, he goes bishop a7, which I missed. Let's take. Go here. Let's go. Wait. I've got to come up with something here. Wait, he goes knight d3. Knight e1. I think I'm actually starting to unwind this. I might win now. I think I'm going to win the game. He blundered. Or it's actually, it's not easy, though. Let's 
there. Okay, get my king close. He's too slow. He's just too slow. Let's go here and here. I think this wins. So I go here. Yeah, now I win. E4. And F4. Okay, I just go here and king d4. Easy. We got the win. Orangutan. 2 OP. 2 OP. Thank you to Blitzer for the uh, tier 1 as well. Thank you so much, Blitzer. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Not a good game, but it's a win. It's a win. Will there be a Reddit React today? Probably at some point later. I'm not sure, um, but probably. He's not Srinath? Oh, I thought this was Srinath. Um, it's not Srinath? Okay. Anyway, we get the win. Um, and uh, we moved to, what, six and a half out of seven? So we're, we're having a pretty good day so far. King E2 is the most OP opening. Yeah, I think it is Shadow Maniac for the uh, three months. Thank you so much. Magnus is not playing the orangutan for the lulls. Maybe found something with prep. Uh, he's playing it for the lulls, you guys. It's completely fine as an opening. It's just you don't get an advantage. But we got the win, six and a half out of seven. Um, we keep pushing forward. B4 will be nerfed in the next patch. Yeah, the world record will be in two and a half hours, roughly, you guys. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big event. Gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, who did I draw against? I draw against Kulik, a Russian grandmaster. Not sure what his real name is. Um, but but yeah. But yeah, I mean, Magnus lost to West with B4. He drew me with B4. Like, his results were not great, um, objectively. Does this streamer play chess? Sometimes I play chess. Not always, but sometimes. But anyway, yeah. Um... Okay, we play Big Fish. Big Fish is on six, so you know what? I have to use the meta against the Big Fish here and probably just be solid. Do I use the meta against Big Fish here? I do because, like... But the problem is he might be happy with a draw, too. So do I be solid or do I go after him? My instinct says I should be solid. I guess we'll see what his first move is. My instinct says I should be solid. And if he wants to draw, he's out of the running for first place. That's my... That's my... He can't make a draw yet. He, he has to try something here. If he was on the same number of points, it, it wouldn't be possible. But um, but he's on he's on six points. Okay, let's go here and here. A3. Okay, I think I've seen this move, actually. Um, I think knight b6 is a move. I know bishop e6 is not right. I think bishop f5 is also a move here. Or is it rook e8? Um, let me think for a second. Again, he he um let's just go here. So I think I have bishop f5 here. And if bishop b5, bishop he goes there. Okay, let's just go here. Now I can play rook e8 here. This looks fine. Or queen d7. Actually, queen d7 looks pretty good. Just b4, bishop d6. He goes queen e2. Rook a d8 is obviously a move here. I think it's fine. Wait, he's got knight e5, takes, and bishop d6. I think I get counterplay if he does this. And if d4, I can obviously just trade or take. b4, just bishop d6, or bishop e7, maybe. When and why did he block Hikaru? He blocked me after I beat him in our speech chess championship match. Um, that's, yeah, he blocked me after that match, which was kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, he goes rook d1, logical move. I mean, I think he still wants b4. And I assume I just go rook e8. And b4, bishop f8 should be fine. I don't really like what he's doing here. It doesn't really, it doesn't feel thematic like it fits with the position. He doesn't have knight d2 because I just take. Who uh um Big Fish? He blocked he blocked me like one day after after he lost a speech chess championship match to me. Um so yeah. 
up 30 seconds very very or 40 seconds very very good um i don't think white's position is actually all that spectacular here it looks kind of i don't know i don't really like it okay i thought i had knight d4 here yeah let's just go for it he has to take and now i take I think this is a big mistake by him, actually, because now this huge pin. Or did I just blunt? Oh, he's got B4. I didn't actually see B4. I'm kind of lucky there. Yeah, I'm kind of lucky that I, I'm okay here. That, that was bad. I didn't even see B4. Okay, so I take, and now I take. A little bit, yeah, a little bit lucky there, but I, I'm still okay, fortunately. I actually didn't see B4 as a move. Now, the funny thing is I have 95 here, but maybe I just drop back. 94, 95. Actually, I think I just drop. Okay, 95 is a move. I don't love it. Queen B2 is a funny move. I'm just going to drop back and play 95. Okay, I think I go hit the bishop. I mean, bishop g4 is dangerous. I can also move the bishop play f5, f4. I should be much better here with correct play. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. He does. I'm also, well, I'm also threatening to trade and go here with the fork because it's a check. So it's very hard for white to play here. Plays king h1. Okay, so he, he dodges. So I can play bishop g4. I can also just drop, I think I can just drop back maybe. But he has queen f3. Bishop e6 is also reasonable, I think, just to go f5 and f4. Okay, he goes queen d2. I think I'll play b6 to cut this idea off, and I can obviously take. Okay, f6 is logical. Yeah, I can play h6, g5 if I want. Don't actually know if I'm much better here. Feels like I'm not really that much better somehow. Let's think about this. Okay, I don't really want to burn too much time here. So, um, I miss bishop h4. That's kind of frustrating. Maybe I... Let's go for it. I don't know. I'm going to go for it with bishop g7 and h6. Like h6 and f5, maybe. Gave him bishop b3, though. Oh, he plays h4. Wait, f5? Wait a second, wait a second. This is wrong. Takes e4. F takes e4. 97, maybe. Still tricky, though. Okay, let's just go for it, though. This has to be right. Okay, take, so I have knight c3, which is a move. Queen d7, bishop d7. No, knight c3 looks wrong. Knight e Wait, what was my intention here? Did I just miss something in this line? Gh6. Okay, whatever. We, we, we have to go, though. We have to go. Go here and bishop e6, I guess. Plays e5, logical move, of course. I have 92, maybe? Yes, I have this and this. And bishop e6 also. Yeah, now I should be winning. d1, okay, let's just take and go here. I think rook e6 wins, because I have just this. There we go. We got the dub. Very nice win. Thank you to Bar of Soap for the eight months. Thank you to Bar of Soap. Appreciate it. Sometimes my dog licks my toes. Happy eight months. Thank you so much. So pretty good game. Get the win. Uh, seven and a half out of eight somehow, despite playing a lot of orangutans. Um, and move 27, knight c3 was the only winning move. What I did in the game. I think what I did was right. Yeah. I mean, I think bishop d4 was right. It, it, I mean, once I got 92, it's losing. But maybe, I think it's already bad. But anyway, whatever. We got the win. Move to um seven and a half out of eight. Um, so so yeah, seven and a half out of eight. 
Um, have you checked to see if I'm still blocked by Big Fish? Well, I, I guess theoretically I could try to challenge him, right? Oh, you cannot start new games. Okay, so I'll have to see after the tournament ends if I'm still blocked by him. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's what it is. So uh, we get the win, some, some karma, I guess, or some justice. Uh, um, and we, we win the game. So seven and a half out of eight. There's going to be, I think, a short break now um, after this round. So I'm going to take another break, you guys, and I will be right back. Uh, thank you to Seabrig for the Prime. Thank you to Seabrig for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Seabrig. All right, so what do we have? We're actually tied for first place. Seven and a half out of eight points. Um, Three-way tie right now with Manticore 17 and Alexander Amoskalenko. Are you a W or a Poggers man? True, true story. All right, you guys. Uh, once again, we are about two and a half hours away from our attempt at the at the most bullet games one in one uh, most bullet wins in one hour against unique opponents. So we have that coming up um, in two and a half hours. We are going to have a lot of giveaways during the event. You guys, we're going to have four giveaways um, and then a grand give grand fin finale giveaway. Uh, if we pass 32 wins, um, you will need to be on Twitter for that final giveaway. Uh, so make sure you do have a Twitter account. It's going to be starting at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Zeralon says, I'm playing that world record attempt. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot of fun. No, I don't have to win every single game. I have to win 32 games uh, in one hour. Pretty simple. We'll be giving away um, some signed chess boards. Uh, we're going to be giving away some beer. We're going to be giving away uh, uh, perhaps some signed uh, signed glasses as well. A lot of good stuff coming up. So make sure to um, make sure to tune into it. And also, you guys, we're going on top of the beer. We're going to be giving away a beer fridge. So we're going to be giving away a fridge, including including some Stella inside of it potentially. So um, so that that's going to be part of our, our grand prize, you guys. So make make sure that you have a Twitter account. You'll have to. I think you'll have to tweet at Stella Artois um, at the end of the event um, in order to have a chance to win, to, to, be, to potentially win that. So, yeah. Anyway, that's, that's, that's what we have. <laughs> a body inside of the fridge, too, please. What you talking about? I'm not, uh, I'm, not some, I'm not some Italian gangster. Come on. Anyway, um, all right. So, uh, so, so, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> no, I want to do some Italian mafia voice, but I can't do. I can't really do do voices. But anyway, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Will gold bars be included in the safe? Doubtful. Very doubtful. You're first place now. You just need to hold. The thing is, now that I'm in first place, though, it's like I have to play the. The problem is now I have to play the. Uh, I have to play the orangutan. That's the problem. Like I can't now switch my opening because I'm actually winning the event. So it's like, um, it's it's like, I have to I have to keep playing it. That's 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 the only problem with the event. I can't now that I've gotten this far with it. I can't suddenly be like, oh yeah, now I'm gonna play like D four or something. I I have to I have to for the memes and for the themes. I have to. Keep Keep playing the orangutan. Yeah. Okay. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So we'll keep going. I thought top tier actors hired in billions can do accents. True. True. Magnus rubbed off. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I ha I have to do it now because we're 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 in first place, and it's like now it's just not the same. The memes are worth more than the uh, are, are, the memes are worth more than um, than seven hundred fifty sandals. Why is the opening called the orangutan? Because the the theory goes that I believe it was I forget if it was Rubenstein, one of the Polish players. Um, they they claimed that they were at the zoo and they they were at the zoo and they saw an orangutan and that's when the the idea of pushing the pawn to b4 came into their mind. That's the you know the ap apocryphal story. Whether that's a true story or not, I don't know. But that's that's what they say. Oh, it's Tartakower, not Rubenstein. It's Tartakower. But they claimed that he was at the zoo and he saw a monkey and that gave and whatever reason it, his b4 popped in his head at that at that point in time so i mean who knows if that's true but that's that's how the story goes that's what i heard too he was at a zoo yeah it was a mouse slip and they called him stupid <laughs> by calling it orangutan funny yeah all right so we have three more games to go um we're, we're in good shape though very very good shape
The story is different. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a cover story for a drunk GM at the zoo. Okay. So I don't know when the next game will start, but it should be starting within the next like three to four minutes is my guess, probably. What is the prize for this tournament? Um, $750 first prize. That's the grand prize. Are there any 2700 plus players you've never played? Um, I'm sure there are. Like Esipenko, I never played him in classical chess. Okay, well, you know, I never played Esipenko in classical chess. So, yeah, I got to do this. Is it ever awkward when someone walks in and you're streaming? I'm in a secluded, like, room, so they would have to open the door. And Myth, one time, he did actually do that. Unfortunately, I wasn't sh it wasn't when I was streaming. It was when I was, um... okay, this guy plays the same thing. I think Magnus played E3, and I think C3 is still correct, right? This is what Magnus did against me. So, when in doubt, play, like, Magnus. Ah, he goes bishop a5. Okay, so my man has studied some kind of theory, I guess. Um, okay, let's just develop the... Let's just... It's kind of like a London and a stone wall and, like, everything in between. I don't know what, what exactly I'm doing here, but it's kind of weird. Probably I should have played knight, knight e2 first. Let's just drop back. If d4, I just take, 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 and go knight c3, and it's I'm fine. So that doesn't work. So he goes knight e7. Can play bishop h4 here. I can also just go knight f3. I don't know if he's playing bishop f5 or knight f5. So I'm going to go here. If he goes c6, my knight is a problem. Um, okay, I got a castle first. Very, very weird position. He plays bishop f5. I assume I go here and force him to trade. My knight still is very bad on, on b1. Knight g6. I guess I just trade and play d4. And we play the same kind of system again. I'm going to go knight d2, knight f3, and just play chess. They get a Donkey Kong for the 10 months. They get a Peace Stappy for the prime. Plays h5. Okay, now I think I'm doing quite well. I think I'm very happy with this position now. So if I get c4 in... It's hard to see why I'm not just better here. Really hard. Because now I, I control the center. And he can play h4. But, I mean, it just does not look super attractive for black. Especially because I can go h3 and just knight f3, actually. Just knight f3. And he has no way to no way to do anything on the diagonal. So I think I'm pretty happy with my position here. It's knight e7. Rook b1 looks logical just to hit the pawn. Okay, rook b8. Knight f3 makes sense. Knight c3 also makes a lot of sense. Now let's just go here and knight f3 if he tries to battery me on h2. Knight f3. I mean, I think I'm I think I'm just much better here unless I'm crazy. Especially because h4 is now a soft weakness long term. It was just very soft. So you can never really move the queen now. H3 was, what was, was, where was that when we needed against Magnus? Good one. Good one. Okay, knight e4, knight c5 looks fine. I mean, I'm definitely better here. I just have to be smart about how I play this. I think I'm going to play a4 just to stop b5, maybe. Goes bishop a5. Okay, I obviously go here and knight c5. Oh, actually, I have knight e5, too. Wait, knight e3, I just take and take. It's trying to get very scary for black here. Still maybe okay, but it's getting scary. Now, do I have g4 is a question here. g4 takes knight g3. Takes, takes, rook f8. King g2 is probably good. I mean, knight g4. Okay, let's... How do I do this? I feel like I'm so close to being winning here somehow. If I was wrong, I'd... Maybe... Well, maybe I'd just be traditional. Oh, he's got knight d6. It's not quite winning, but it's still pretty good for me. Now he sees it. Let's go here. I mean, he's got a lot of weaknesses to deal with. It's bishop c7. Okay, logical move. I think I'll just move my queen here, maybe. just Again, try to, try to just play simple chess here. Keep pressure on b7. Can always drop the juicer back to f3. 
Looks pretty good for me. Goes queen h7. Now, I can obviously trade and go knight f3. I mean, that's just a clean pawn, I think. Unless I'm crazy. Maybe not. Maybe I am crazy. Yeah, he's got this bishop b6 that I forgot about. Let's go here and take, though, maybe. Knight f5, a5, maybe. I'm definitely better. I just have to be smart about how I play this. I want to go e4, too, maybe. Okay, it goes there. 5a6 takes, takes. And this must be winning. Okay, a6 obviously. I just take. He doesn't have rook b6, so I take. He goes bishop b6. Now I think rook a1 is very strong. I also have e4, or no, e4, 97. It's probably good, but let's just go rook a1 here. Keep it very chill. If he takes, I just take and drop back. He's got a weak pawn on a6. Should be winning if I play this correctly. Goes f6. Don't know if that's an actual, th if there's a threat to it or not. But I still think I just take. I also have e4 to kick the knight. Okay, rook c, it's a good move. I'll trade. Okay, I can go rook a1 maybe. Yeah, let's just go here and rook b1 and slow it down a little bit. Let's go here. I have knight e4, of course. Let's bring the king in. Uh, his rook is almost trapped. But not quite. Let's go here. Maybe knight. Knight b3. Actually, let's just go here. Can obviously take. e4 looks good, though. So I have knight e5 check. It's got no time. Thank you to Audrey. Thank you to Audrey for the gifted sub. Thank you to Flat Monkey for the prime. I guess he did he just get disconnected or run out of time. I'm not sure. But anyway, we get the win. Move to eight and a half out of nine. I'm not really sure what happened to him there. But we get to eight and a half out of nine. Again, again, orangutan OP. Just OP all the way. Too disappointed in his position. I doubt that. Um, but anyway, yeah, the orangutan. Great opening. Make sure to check it out if you if you have, if you have a chance. But, yeah. Never doubt the orangutan. Yeah, yeah. So, he had one bar the whole game, yeah. But, I mean, to be fair, he was losing in this position. This is a losing losing position. Um, okay, so we're going to play Moskalenko next game. We're on 8.5 out of 9. Um, why am why am I... Why you stayed streaming for TSM? Um, why not? They, they've done a lot for me. Pretty simple. Okay, so let's think about this. Um, I'm playing Moskalenko. I'm going to get the black pieces. There's a big gap, which actually, because there's such a big gap here, like, well, I guess, let's see. How many games are still going on? I need to see what the final scores are, but if it's really a one-point gap over 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 um, from, from first and second to third, I might make a draw. Maybe. Because that guarantees me, um, that guarantees me a share of some kind of big prize. Maybe. Because then I get white, but I'm playing the orangutan. Do I think I can beat twenty nine hundred with the orangutan as white in the final round? I don't know. My instinct says I should probably just go for it, but there. I mean, there's such a big gap here. Oh, is it? Is there a bet on the line too? Thank you to Sronson for the prime. What is the bet? Is there a bet on it? Is, is there, is there, what's the prize? I didn't, I didn't look to see what the bet was. The bet is while I get to nine and a half. Is that the bet? Or not? I, I don't know. What's the bet? Oh, 
It's nine and a half. Out, will I get to nine and a half out of ten? Okay. Well, if there's actually a bet, then I'll bet on it. Okay, I'll bet on it, or not bet on it. Sorry, I'll um, I'll go for it. Yeah, or I'll try to go for it. That means nine and a half points out of ten. Where's Ali Reza, Sib Elephant, and others? I don't know. I actually, I don't, I don't know where Ali Reza has been missing. He's been MIA for a long time now. Don't go for it in shambles. Yeah, it's like if I go for it and I win, the doubters are mad. If I go for it and I lose, the believers are mad. Somebody's going to be mad, though. His brother is also dead silent about him. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Ali Reza. My guess is that he's working with one of the... He's like probably playing training games or he's, he's doing some training camps with one of the players. I don't know if it's Magnus or Jan, but that's my best guess. Um, that's my best guess as far as why he kind of has vanished. Because it would be very weird to not to not stream at all um, if, if he was just like studying even at, at home. It would be very weird. So who knows? Oh, by the way, I should go for it anyway, because actually there were two guys who got to eight points. Has to be Jan since Ali Reza, Ali Reza crushed Magnus in the Chess 24 Blitz match. I, I I doubt that. But that's my guess. Thank you to Filmhead for the five months. Thank you so much to Filmhead. Appreciate it. Thank you. Faruja switched to checkers. I somehow doubt that, you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so. Oh, next game starts. Oh, wait, sorry. Next game starts. Sorry, I didn't realize. I'm white. Okay. Okay, so everyone seems to have figured out that. I guess you go Bishop A5 or something. I don't know. Plays knight d7. That's an interesting one. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I Maybe I go to f4 and play it like a London, possibly, but whatever. Huh. Can play f3, which is kind of too much. Okay, let's just go here. I can also go f3. I can also just cast. Oh. I can also play... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go here to hit the knight, because now he can't ever put a bishop here. So it should be fine. Goes knight e5. So, I mean, I guess I just castle, of course. Knight g6. Maybe I knight f4 first. Okay, I guess I'll go back. At some point, I'm going to have to play d4, I guess. I don't know when. I can also just play f3. Hmm. Is f3 logical or not? It's a move. kind of don't like my position here. No, this is actually quite bad, I think. Let's think. Okay, I can play bishop a4 to exchange. Trade, trade, d3, trade, trade. I got to go soon, though. I'm, I'm thinking too long here. Um, I think I'm going to go f3 and takes. I'm going to play this. I got to move quicker, though. I'm moving way too slowly here. As long as d4 is not a move, my next move almost certainly will be d4, I guess. I thought I was going to be black this game. Kind of annoyed that I'm white. Way too slow in this game, though. Also, I can't push my deep on, I just realized. Yeah, he does that. So I'll go here, maybe. Maybe I'll take and go knight c. Okay, plays d4. I thought I could go here and... And go knight c4 maybe. I'm almost okay here. I'm not quite okay, but I'm almost okay. Almost. He's thinking for a long time here, though, so it's getting 
goes there. So of course I go here. So I can obviously take now. And if he takes, I wait. Do I? I mean, I have to take with the pawn. What am I even thinking about? Okay, I guess I just trade. Go knight e two maybe or knight b two. It's it's not wonderful. But I think I'm actually kind of okay here because I can move the king up and guard the pawn. I should be okay. I shouldn't lose. I probably can't win this game. But again, a draw is not the end of the world here. This a6 logical move. Um, wait, he wants there. Let's go here. Let's go here. He wants a draw now. He's down on the clock here. So it's kind of interesting that he wants a draw. Let's go here. My guess is since I'm up on time, I probably should not actually take a draw here. I should probably try to beat him. Let's go here. I mean, B4, C4 is tricky. A5 is also a good move here. Oh, I could have also traded maybe. I just realized. Let's go here maybe. It's A5. Okay, I don't want to take. I have Knight of... Oh, wait, I have Rook H1 maybe? Wait, what about this move? And just Knight E4. Okay. What's his threat? So I can just take and go rookie one. It's 95. Wait, rook h1 maybe? What's he doing? H1 f6. Just six, I guess. Let's go here. F4 was also maybe good, but. Wait, I take? Wait, I have time. I'm up on time. I think I check on d6 and just collect. I think. Yeah, let's go here and collect. I think I just go king e2 and I'm just winning. King d3, king... He's got rook b7. Rook b be careful. Okay, let's go here. Go here, and now I just have check. Now I just take, and now he can't trade because he loses the end game, and now it's GG's. No draw, my friend. No draw. No draw. Okay, we got the dub. We moved to 9.5 out of 10. Um, good win. Thank you to Cutie Jelly for the gifted sub. Thank, thank you so much for the two gifteds. Appreciate it. Orangutan, what can I say? OP, you guys. You got to check it out. Make sure to play 1B4 on move 1. My course will be coming very soon. Um, yeah, no no, no draw. No draws. Um, yeah, he really kind of... He, he, he got really shaky um, towards the end of the, that game. Thank you to 16GA Borp for the three months. Thank you to 16GA Borp. Appreciate it. Thank you. I think he couldn't handle losing to the orangutan. Well, I mean, that's the problem with the orangutan is like in a game that's like very, um, very like uh, not game, sorry, in a tournament that, with a lot on the line, it's very much a mind, it messes with your mind because it's like on the one hand, you know, it's not the best opening, you know, it's just equal. But on the, on the other hand, if you lose, it's very embarrassing too. So it's like, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's very, it's very complicated. Oh, he had F5. Yeah, because the H8 is covered. True. Are you really putting out a course or is that a meme? <laughs> right. Yeah. It could have been a misclick draw. Thank you to Enclaves for 12 months. Thank you so much to Enclaves. But yeah. But anyway, 9.5 out of 10, we play Chess Warrior. Now the question is, again, I assume I'm solid. I'm a point clear. So if I draw this game, I win the event. So the goal is just be solid against Mr. Noderbeck, Abdu Satorov. Um, that's going to be the plan. Although maybe I, maybe I should go for more. I'm not sure. Thank you, Jay Song, Jay Song Derulo for the Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick, for to Royale for the uh, for the two months. Thank you.
Managed to get back what I lost in the So versus Magnus gamble. Yeah. Join Levy with his 1 million. Yeah, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create one board. I'm going to give you guys a little highlight. There still are games, right? There's still a few games. Let me let me make a new board. Let me make a new board. Let's let me just make sure that I remember this. So there's only one thing that I want to check very briefly, just to make sure. So this, this. Queen e7, of course. I'm just checking this very briefly. Knight e2, bishop, uh, bishop e6, right? Yeah, just making sure this one line. Thank you to Welch for the four months. Thank you, Cutie Jelly, for the gift of sub. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Just taking one quick look at this at this very briefly. Because he did this one time, and I actually lost a game um, to him. So I was just taking one quick one quick look. Isn't Rook g8 a move instead of Queen e7? Yeah, I mean, they're both lines. I know that. Um, but I, I know Queen e7 is supposed to be the safest one, as I recall. Yeah, just making sure. Okay, so here we go. Next game. Let's close this. Ah, he wants a draw. Okay, so he wants a draw, basically. So he clinches second place. Wait, queen e3? Wait, does he want to draw or is he trying to be cheeky? <laughs> okay, he goes knight c3. This is a line, obviously, um, as well. I think c6 is supposed to be fine. Actually, is c6? Wait, c6 maybe is not the right move there. But anyway, I should be fine. Okay, knight c5. Okay, so I can play b6 here. I think I can also go queen f5 or queen d6. b4, b6. This is fine. Oh, I missed rookie one. Oh, whoops. Oh, I just made a huge mistake. Wait a second. I just made a huge blunder. What am I doing? Wait, that, I mean, I'm still okay, probably, but I was not paying attention. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was bad. Okay, let's think for a second. Okay, queen c7 is fine. Queen g6, I think, again, is fine. Knight f6 takes, knight six no. It's got a5, though. Yeah, I just actually got very careless. Got very careless. Wasn't paying attention. I thought he was going to make the draw, and now it's like... Now it's very dangerous. I have to be very careful. Maybe just queen e6. Queen e5, bishop d2. Oh my gosh. Jeez, what am I doing? Oh, I also have to move. Why am I thinking so long? Okay. Queen e5, bishop d2, bishop c3, queen c7. Go here. Place a5. I mean, I can obviously go b5. Okay, I'm just going to be quiet for a second, you guys. And now I just blundered this too. What am I doing? I think I'm okay, though. I don't see any moves that win for him. If knight c5, I just castle.
G5, okay, I can't take. If I castle rook G7, I just take. Queen H6, King G8. Knight F6 takes, takes. Jeez. Oh, I just blundered rook G7 anyway. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Or did I? Wait, I... I just got so careless. And now I have no time either. Oh my gosh. I just threw this game. <sighs> just threw this game so hard. Just threw this. I just threw this. I got careless for one move and I threw it. Got careless for one move. Ay, ay, ay. That's a big bummer. I, I just got careless for one move. I got careless for one move and I thought I was just I thought it was gonna be a quick draw. Oh, that's very upsetting. Yeah, I mean, it's just losing. Which move is care? I mean, I just got careless for one move. I th I thought the queen g six was I thought the queen d six was just just a draw because he has to move the knight. I forgot about rookie one. Yeah, no, I forgot about rookie one. I basically right here. I just forgot that he had rookie one. I just completely forgot this move. Castles instead of f eight was zeros. Yeah, but I mean, at this point already, I was blundering. I mean, this is zeros. Let me just make sure why this is zeros. Oh my gosh, because I have bishop f five. Oh yeah yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, I didn't deserve it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't deserve it after that after that um Wow, I really just forgot it. How did I miss that actually? Ugh. Yeah, that was a big throw. Worst game? No, not the worst game, but I mean, I just I just threw. I got careless there for a move. Let me just double check this game. Um I just I was so sure he was going to make the draw and I just got careless for one move. Let me just double check this. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, basically I missed rookie one. This was I just forgot he had rookie one. I just forgot he had rookie one there. Although apparently he misplayed it, right? Castles is still fine. Actually, yeah, because I just have bishop f5. What am I? Or no, wait. Wait. Wait, no, maybe I'm not. Wait, king g8, knight f6? I have queen d8. Yeah, there's this one. No, no, I mean, he's a good player, but I just, I got Carol's for one move, and I then then I just missed everything. That was very, very bad. Very, very bad by me. Yeah, queen e6 here. Yeah, actually, queen e6 was the simplest way to draw this. I think he baited you think he was going for the draw, maybe, but I mean, basically, I just got Carol's. I was sure that it was just equal, and there were no problems, and I just played queen e6 on where he won. Very, very careless. Um... And queen e6 is again okay here. Why didn't I play queen e6 here? This is also very peculiar. Yeah. Funny how a single move changes the wind. Yeah, well, that's why chess is a brutal game. I mean, you make one wrong move and it very easily changes. I'm still going to finish second, but... Oh, that was very, very poor. Not the way that I wanted it to end, certainly. But I, to be fair, I was also losing some games earlier, so it happens. Thank you to, thank you to Easy Bear of Huge Force with 500 Peppa Smack for the 100. Coles for the 4. Jigawatt for the 8. Rahola for the 4 as well. Um, But yeah... That was just uh, bad. I finished in second place. I mean, I, I, I lost the last game. And, um, um, yeah, I finished second place nine and a half. I finished second on tie breaks, which is also good. So, Magnus introduces one before course. Yeah. No, I mean, it happens. It happens. I mean, I could I could have very easily lost the previous game to... Um, I could have lost the previous game to Moskalenko very easily. So, that draw earlier counted. Yeah, in a sense. But, I mean, there were a lot of games... Isn't it painful? It's frustrating. I just got careless for a move, and so I'm, I'm pretty annoyed by that. But it happens. I was low on time. Bad things happen. It doesn't always go your way. So that's life. Such is life. Such is life. Yeah, I just I got careless for one move. Unfortunate. Anyway, all right, you guys. I'm going to take a short break, uh, and I will be right back, and we'll keep rolling along. Geary Trash Talk on Twitter. I don't know what that means. But anyway, I'll be right back, you guys. Tiebreak is higher than number one. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Not a big deal. Um, but that's that's life. So I'm going to take a short break, you guys, and I will be right back. <clears throat> 
All right, you guys. Um, do I stand up or sit down? <laughs> okay, whatever, dude. Anyway, yeah, unfortunate, but it, it happens. Still finishing second place. Uh, thank you to Alpha Smart for the three. Thank you to ED Word for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.